in a lot of rooms with a lot of um, decision makers and a lot of elected officials. And um, I go into those meetings thinking, okay, I think I might have an idea of who is going to take some of these more um, science-based progressive ideas and run with them. And every time, Mike is always the guy that ends up signing up because he knows what happens when you don't. And, um, and his uh, consistent ability to say, but I think we can do better is really what sets him apart from the pack. I mean, Mike has proven himself over and over and over again that he cares, that he has, he calls me back. He never, uh, he never relinquishes an opportunity to do better work. He's always wondering, you know, what, what, what else is on the horizon? What can we do to continue to improve the lives of citizens in this community? And it must be, um, it, it must be that we keep working towards those. those. I don't know a lot of other elected officials um, who do that. Um, I know people who say that they do that, but I don't know a lot of people who literally seize the moment with chances to continue to kind of rewrite the rules and rewrite history as he's done in this county. So um, so he's unique in that respect. And um, I don't know a lot of times, I can't even name one when I haven't called Mike for something and he hasn't um, at least called me back or acknowledged that I have reached out about something, whether it's very, very small or much larger, whether it's meeting with a family or considering a bill to push um, that um, I think his voice would be useful in and, and impactful in, um, he's always gets back to me. And he at least will tell me if he doesn't wanna do it, why? So um, he's just got that integrity and um, what you see is what you get with Mike, that's for sure. It is real and I can prove it to you. Um, when we started working together, Mike and I, after my brother died from an overdose, which is a really horrific experience. And a lot of, he's worked with a lot of families and advocates on many different issues. But on the overdose crisis, Lake County was really not looking good. We were, you know, 10 years ago, we were in a position to being the, having the highest overdose rates in the country. And when he got elected in 20, 2012 or 2013, um, he had the opportunity to change it because he knew that there were other people in the community who wanted to change it, the advocates. And he, um, not because of him, literally, we are, our overdose rates have dropped significantly. And even though we're seeing them rise because of what's going on with COVID-19, um, you can thank Mike Nierheim for the reason why those um, overdose death rates are so low because of the leadership he had in the law enforcement community and in the behavioral health community. I mean, he really put his neck out there in a topic that he wasn't really an expert in and said, I want it, we need to do this and knew who we needed to work with, knew he needed to get the treatment centers and the public health agencies and the, the social work groups on board and, and, and he's done quite a lot. He has proven to be um, a thoughtful leader. He has proven to do the things he says he's going to do and he has a really big heart. And you can see that in the work that he's done. He's, he's found lots of ways to um, consider alternatives to jail and prison um, while also holding people accountable who need to be held accountable. Um, he recognizes that we have a serious, serious systemic racism issue. We have a serious systemic um, disenfranchisement issue and he's not ignoring it. He's taking a look seriously at what we can do to really try and ramp up our efforts to um, to equalize where things need to be equalized. And he, we've seen that time and time again with Mike. So um, that, um, that work would be put at great risk um, to walk back things that just don't work anymore. Um, and uh, we, we can't risk it, we just can't. We cannot play games with this election. We cannot take, take, um, take the risks that aren't calculated. I mean, we, we really need to, to be serious here. And Mike has, like I said, Mike has proven himself time and again to be not only a thoughtful and compassionate leader, but he's very progressive. He's doing a lot of things that I don't think a lot of Republican state's attorneys can say that they're doing. So if we take the politics out of it for a moment and we focus on the record, on the promises, on the, on the focus that he has, which is on people and saving lives, you have a person who has definitely proven himself. So we, so as like a mom 
as a, a Democrat, because I, I, I am a Democratic voter. I, I'm not a voter in Lake County, I, but I am a Democrat. Um, like I said, I do not know that we can um, just vote on our party every time. So I really just want to encourage voters to really think outside of the normal frame that they would. Um, Mike doesn't write laws. Mike enforces laws. And it takes a creative and special mind to be able to do what Mike has done in a really thoughtful, um, uh, passionate heart that he has for people and for results. And, and so um, you just got to look at his record. It's all there. A lot of people know it. Um, I'm not telling anybody anything new, but the stakes are high in this election. So let's realize that local government matters and Mike matters and keeping him in his role matters for sure. No, um, I just have lived it. I've lived the Mike Nearheim experience and it's very real and we have the numbers to prove it. Um, and I just wish that everybody would do their research and really look into what he's done in his record. I'm Lake County State's Attorney Mike Nearheim, and I'm proud of what this office has accomplished to seek justice with trust, fairness, and integrity for all of the people of Lake County.